Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September. And on the face of it, it can turn out to be a really sociable time for you as the Sun is joined on the 5th by Venus in the part of your scope that's to do with friendships. But also, Venus goes face to face with the rather dreamy energies of Neptune in week two. So one friend can start to capture your imagination, perhaps even in a romantic way. But on the second of the month, Mercury moves into a hidden part of your scope. And there may be times this month, despite the, all the invitations coming in and your desire to accept them, that you do find yourself just wanting to step back into your own private world. But also, Mercury is going to be linking in a very influential way with other planets. And this starts to shape up from week two when it goes face to face with Uranus. Now Uranus is a, is a planet which is exalted in your sign. It is to do with innovation, it is to do with novelties, but it's also to do with freedoms. And in your scope, it's in the part of your situation to do with work. But it links brilliantly with Jupiter right through to the end of the month. So if you do want to make progress professionally, the more open-minded you are to new ideas and perhaps new technology, the better you can do. However, its opposition with Mercury suggests that there could be somebody that you encounter in a professional or work situation who isn't necessarily your greatest fan, but the way they come into the open may come completely out of the blue and surprise you. So do prepare and protect yourself from any such challenge. Your nervous energy could also be jolted a little bit by this uh, development. However, it is true to say that the Sun forges a gorgeous link with Saturn in your sign in week two as well. So the things that are going well, that you feel happy about and are settled, and you feel there is some permanence in your life, the chances are they can just get even more established, which can be very gratifying. Now your co-ruler, Mars, is going to move out of your sign on the 13th into Sagittarius. And this is going to give you a taste for the more sensual pleasures of life that you're so famed for and in even greater way in the following 60 days. You can also find yourself being a bit more thrusty when it comes to your financial affairs. Your elbows could get a bit sharper if you're wanting to improve your lot. On the 22nd, the sun, however, does move into the sign of Libra just behind you. And this is a, a more reflective area. There is also a new moon on the 23rd, and you're asked to be conscious of the, sub, uh, the more subconscious energies that we all have. You could find your dreams become a lot more vivid in the last 10 days of this month. But your other co-ruler, Pluto, also starts to go forward from the 23rd, which can help to loosen up your communications. But I do feel that if there are some fair weather friends in your uh, circle, they could be revealed a little bit at the end of the month. So though there can be this sociability earlier on, you still need to keep your wits about you somewhat. Once Mercury arrives in your sign on the 28th, you will feel more secure, however. But on the 30th, Venus does itself enter into Libra. And if there is a weak link in a romantic relationship, it can start to show itself as this month comes to a close. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.